We Breaking lied, news, right? the traditional <laughs> Christmas pudding apparently is out and the Italian classic panettone Bravo, is in. Bravo, because one thing that it's, we need to we say go. is the way to spell panettone. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, it's not panettone. E. Panettone, e. because panettone. ends with an E, so it's an E. Like linguine. People oh. often say uh, linguini. Yes. It's linguine, well, eh, with a DN. Please carry on. Whatever it is, <laughs> Gina's here to cook it for us. Gina, what are you going to do with us today? I'm going to do a recipe that you can prepare today, mm -hmm. stress-free, ready for Christmas. Often Great. people, they stop me, you know, when they stop me, they say, oh, gee, Christmas is coming. Have you got any tips, especially on dessert? Because everybody put a lot of effort on the turkey, on the start. Yeah, yeah. Dessert, they want something quick and easy. And I always say, guys, go for a spumone. This is called a spumone, okay? Which is like a semifreddo, mm -hmm. but with a panettone in the middle. Lovely. So the ingredients are very easy. Uh, I got candied peel, hazelnut, we got amarena cherries, which you can buy them in a jar, very tasty, mm. which they come with this liquor, fantastic. Amaretto liqueur, what do you want? The cherry, yeah, yeah, go yeah. on, eat Thank the cherry. Uh, then I got condensed milk, condensed milk, mm -hmm. orange zest, and cherries. Before oh. I do this recipe, I just want to point it out something. Okay. See the panettone? Yes. This here is overtaking the cells of Christmas pudding. Christmas pudding, yeah. 40% up of last year. Finally, people realize what to do with panettone. Wow. Mm. Because panettone is, in Italy, you slice it, we have it with a cup of tea, we have it with a touch of Vinsanto, which you can uh, you put it in. Do you have it all year round or is it, or is it Christmas? All year round, but yeah. Christmas is a good luck for us. Yeah. I prefer this uh, to, the, uh, to the Christmas pudding. Oh, the, there you go. Panettone. But, panettone, bravo. Panettone. But the thing is, guys, once you open a panettone, you then can use it, the slices, to make a cake, or you can toast it like you do with the, the bun thing with the cross on top, the bun... Oh, uh, crust bun. Those oh, ones. yes. Yeah, you can do like those ones, put them in there, and you have a beautiful toast, because remember, panettone has already got the candied peel, it's already got the butter. Well, listen, mm. it's sensational, but you have about four about. minutes to make it. Easy. <laughs> uh, whipped cream, in there, we're going to pour condensed milk. Look how easy is this recipe. Yeah. Ma can you do me a favour? Uh, one, one of you, please. What, yeah. like? what I got? I got uh, one of those uh, loft in, 900 grams to one kilo. I put a little bit of paper around. I got janduya ice cream, hazelnut ice cream, chocolate ice cream, whatever ice cream you want. Can you put on the base yeah. and tap do it that? down? Yes, I'll do this. May I just say something to everybody? This recipe requires three or four ingredients. It's mm. Christmas, so whatever you're going to do, spend a little bit more, buy a good quality, because whatever you're going to put in this Christmas pudding, you're going to get a Christmas. So make sure you get a good quality ice cream and everything else. Now, I put the condensed milk into the cream. Mm -hmm. Look, very, very simple. You mix it up. In there, we're going to put the orange zest and the amarena cherries. Oh, it's so good. Um, is it good? The cherries are amazing. Delicious. Look, the other thing as well, you can take away or add whatever you want to this recipe. If you don't like the amarena cherries, you want to put a few uh, uh, apricots, uh, a peach, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. You don't want to put hazelnut, you want to put walnut. However you want to do it. Now, this is... Okay. Look, this is the job done. Look how simple okay. is that. Condensed milk, job done. At this point, yeah, if you give this to me, what I want you to do, if you can pour a slush of uh, amaretto liqueur, mixy mixy. Do you want a... Hang on, where am I putting it? In here? In the bowl. You want an Irish splash? Or... An Irish splash, yes. Now, when you do this recipe... <laughs> when you do this <laughs> recipe... Like my grandmother always said, a bird never flies on one wing. <laughs> no, no, that, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> mixy mixy, please. Please, Sorry. if you can mix it. <laughs> now, when you do this recipe, look what I've done. The ice cream is slightly uh, yeah. softer. Yeah. You do the base. At this point, you get a slice of panettone and you just put it on top. Oh, nice. Look, if you don't have the panettone, of course, you can do with the sponge. Yes. And okay. all you can do with the, uh, the finger lady thing. What is it called? The, the... Sponge fingers. Uh, sponge fingers. OK, yeah. Yes, yeah, uh, Savoyardi. Yeah. Savoyardi. You can use those one. Absolutely fine. Yeah, look, you go. See so far? Yes, okay. got it, following. I put a little amaretto in there. You don't have to, but I like to give a, a, a extra amaretto. Then what I do, guys, the same amaretto liqueur, mm -hmm. I'm going to put a little bit on top of the sponge Ooh. just to give an extra kick. Nice. Yum. And I'm going to get you guys to finish this off. This goes on okay. top. And I'm going to come up, leave it in the fridge, five or six hours. Of course, if you want to put it in the freezer, actually, put, this goes in the freezer for about six hours. Okay. But if you want to put it in the freezer until Christmas, just make sure that it's well covered with clean film, leave it in the corner of the freezer, job done. What do you want to do when your guests arrive? Take it out about 10 minutes. 
Uh, Take it out. Oh. Yeah, femen remember, this needs to be called. It's a semifreddo. Semifreddo means a nearly fr frozen dessert. Mm -hmm. okay. So you take it out 10 minutes before like I did. One thing that you do, get yourself a knife and in a hot jug. Yeah. So the blade is nice and hot. So it makes your life easy when you slice it. Look, one slice. Okay, look, I'm doing in front of you. Two slices. And the way to serve it, guys, very simple. You pick it up, goes on here. Yum. Then we're gonna put some beautiful nuts on top. You, at this point, you can decorate however you want. Orange peel, candied peel, however you want to do it. And then I have the juice from the Amarena cherries. Uh -huh. Okay. That you're just gonna put it on top like that. You know, the lovely thing, Gina, is, is just how light it is. Because obviously yeah. you've eaten so much for your main course, yeah. there's something nice to... Bravo, bravo. And also, you know what it is? Because it's ice cream based, it, clean, it cleans your palate. Mm. So after a big meal, like you want something fresh, you want something to clean your palate. And how easy is this? Especially to with the candied fruit as well. Delicious. You know, that kind of so, what I'm going to do, Molly, you can have this for Christmas on oh, me. Oh, Gina. thank you, Gino. I'm going to put this for you. Oh, there you go. This is for you. Hey, uh, you can have this. <laughs> yes, Gino. Yeah. <laughs> You're delighted with you that. You drink one. and forget. Yes, thank you. Uh, and that's it. This is my Christmas present. Thank oh, you to this thanks, morning. Thank you, Gino. And then I just say I don't think I'm going to see. I'm going to see you guys before Christmas. So can I say Buon Natale and an amazing New Year to everybody. Thank this you, year, Gino. You know what? This thank year has been a little bit like. <laughs> thank you. You know, up and down, but everything is going to be okay in 2024. Thanks, Gino. Now, if you fancy Gino's dessert at home, then the full recipe is on this morning app.